If you've been paying attention to crypto in the last year, you probably heard a lot of buzz about the base network. What exactly is base and why should we all be paying close attention to this? Well, in this video, I'm going to break it all down for you. I'll share what it is, what makes it special and exactly how it stacks up against top competitors such as Solana. And by the end of this video, you'll realize that base is not just another layer two blockchain, but rather it's Coinbase's bold play to bring the next billion users onto the blockchain. Now, before we get into this, let's zoom out just for a little bit. If you're in crypto, you know that Coinbase is not just another exchange. It's actually the on-ramp for millions of people to get into the world of crypto. And Base, well, they're doubling down on their mission to make crypto a mainstream thing. Now, think about it for a second. A scalable, low-cost blockchain that's actually designed for mass adoption. That's not just ambitious. It's a aggressive and it begs the question can they actually deliver this well let's go ahead and find out to find this out we need to understand what base actually is you see base is a layer 2 blockchain built on top of ethereum it uses something called optimistic rollups to bundle transactions off chain and settle them in batches on ethereum this means it's fast it's cheap and it's built on top of the ethereum network itself which keeps things very secure furthermore base is fully compatible with the ethereum virtual machine otherwise known as EVM so if you're a developer you can take your ethereum project and deploy it on base with almost no extra work and that's a big deal especially when you think of the developer ecosystem and the tooling that's already available on ethereum which is pretty much the OG blockchain besides Bitcoin so you're essentially giving developers a shortcut to scale their projects without any compromise okay but here's where things get interesting because coinbase isn't just just building base for developers they're actually building it for everyone now that's why they're laser focused on making it fast and cheap for everyday users see when it comes to speed base uses optimistic rollups to handle hundreds of transactions per second now you can go ahead and compare that to ethereum's 15 transactions per second and you'll start to see the potential here but it's not just about speed base's recent integration of ethereum's den kun upgrade means that costs are dropping even further and we're talking about a 10x reduction in already low fees. So this isn't just another incremental improvement, it's actually a major shift. And if you've been using other blockchains in the past and you felt the pain of high fees, well, using base would be like a breath of fresh air. Now, when it comes to the developer experience, Base is an absolute game changer. See, if you're a builder, you're gonna love the full EVM compatibility as that makes migrating your project from Ethereum to Base an absolute breeze. But honestly, it's more than just compatibility. Coinbase has rolled out their Builder Resource Kit, which is basically a cheat code for launching projects on Base. And it's packed with pretty much everything you need to get started from tools to support and even exposure for your project. Now, this is isn't just about throwing resources at developers though, it's about creating a real ecosystem that feels welcoming and supportive. And guess what? It's actually working. You see, the base ecosystem is growing very fast with projects like Aerodrome Finance, for example, or Virtual Protocol gaining serious traction. Now you see, these projects aren't just surviving, they're actually thriving. And that's a testament to how well Base is supporting its community. But here's the thing, Base isn't just for the DeFi crowd, it's also becoming a hotspot for meme coins and for cultural trends. Now you've probably seen tokens like Toshi or Bread absolutely pop off. And the impressive part is that they're driving billions in trading volume for Base. You see, meme coins are often written off as jokes, but within Base's ecosystem, they actually serve as a gateway for new users to get involved but it's not just about meme coins either serious liquidity is flowing into base through things like cbbtc and coinbase's 100 million verified users are a big reason why they've made it so easy to access base that even crypto newbies can jump in with just a credit card or apple pay thanks to the recent partnership with stripe this makes it absolutely easy to get involved within the base ecosystem and when you use usdc on base you can move it around without gas fees at all which is pretty amazing so basically they're trying to remove as many barriers to entry as possible and this is what makes base so compelling for mainstream adoption 
All right, now we can go ahead and talk about the elephant in the room, which is the fact that unlike other blockchains, Base does not actually have a native token. That's right, there is no Base token. Instead, it's all about the user experience as they let you use ETH or pretty much any other token to pay for gas fees. And this way, the focus can actually be kept on projects within their ecosystem and their tokens rather than Base's own token. So this is a bold move, but so far it's paying off big time by not relying on inflation inflationary tokenomics, BASE avoids many of the pitfalls that has plagued its predecessors. The results speak for themselves. So BASE has over $3 billion in total value locked, and this is all without a native token. So just think about it for a second. That's people choosing to bring their capital onto BASE, not because they're bribed to do so, because they genuinely want to get involved with the ecosystem. But I got to pump the brakes for a little bit here because BASE is not perfect. And to tell the complete story, I got to share with you some of its weaknesses as well. And first up would actually be the fees. While BASE is cheaper than Ethereum, it's still pricier than certain competitors such as Solana. And if you're a project that relies on ultra low fees, like perhaps you're doing a large scale airdrop or you're doing high frequency trading, then this actually might be a deal breaker for you. Next, there's the user experience. I mean, sure, BASE is easier than most crypto platforms, but let's be real, it's not web two level seamless as of just yet. And then there's the centralization issue. So BASE started off with Coinbase controlling pretty much everything and while they are taking steps to decentralize like rolling out their fault proofs for better validation it's still in the early days for that so if we think about decentralization as a journey then base actually has a long road ahead but anyhow where does base stand at the end of the day well in my personal opinion it's one of the best blockchains in crypto right now hands down it's deep integration with coinbase's booming ecosystem and its focus on scalability makes it a major player in the space but it's not without its challenges as well whether it's fees user experience or decentralization there's definitely some room for improvement with base but here is the bottom line if you're in crypto you must be keeping an eye on base as it's already shaking things up big time and it's really just getting started that's why if you're curious about the hottest projects on base then be sure you check out this video right here where we break it all down for you peace